Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, next year, in the second half of 2024, as I have been posting, we are possibly expecting to see a Windows 12 release. Although never confirmed by Microsoft, and we are expecting to see the next generation of Windows. And we have had a look on the channel quite in depth about what to possibly expect. And we've had a look at a couple of different angles, what it'll look like, and the hardware requirements, uh, the features possibly rolling out. And if you want more info regarding a possible Windows 12, there is a playlist on the homepage of this channel if you'd like to get some more info. Now, just to let you know that it seems, and at this stage, this is just um, speculation, it seems that Windows Copilot uh, in Windows 12 could replace the start button that we currently have uh, in Windows. And this is according to a, um, a conversation between Microsoft's CEO and Qualcomm's CEO. And this took place at the recent Qualcomm event. Now, basically what Microsoft's CEO had to say, and I'm quoting, he said this, quote, When Windows first came together, we had the start button. The co-pilot is like the start button. And then he gives an example. Then he says, so, for example, I go there and express my intent, and it either navigates me to an application or it brings the application to the co-pilot. So it helps me learn, query, create, and completely changes the user habits. Now, as mentioned, that, that is not confirming that it's going to replace, uh, Copilot is going to replace the start menu button. That's just what he said. But as I have posted previously, um, we are expecting uh, Windows 12 to be more AR focused. And as mentioned, Copilot has already rolled out to Windows 11, very much in its infancy, still in preview. Um, at this stage, it's just really a glorified web chat, Bing chat um, container um, on the Windows 11 desktop. So by Windows 12, a possible Windows 12, um, it is expected that Copilot would have, had, would have had a lot more work done to it and on it and will be integrated a lot more into the OS. And if you want more information, as mentioned, regarding AR and Windows 12, that playlist will give you a lot more um, kind of a broader aspect of what we are talking about here today. So here's my thoughts on this. Now, with Windows 8, as many of you will know, the original release, Microsoft removed the Start button, which for a majority of users, including myself, caused a lot of confusion initially and disrupted, I would say, 99.9% um, .9 of people's workflow in Windows. Now, if Microsoft did replace the Start button with a Copilot button, I think that would be a mistake as early as next year. Because a lot of institutions, organizations, your average home user, once again, this would bring a lot of confusion into the mix. And um, just like what happened with Windows 8 and with Windows 8.1, obviously Microsoft had made a mistake because the Start Menu button is a very iconic and major feature that makes up the Windows operating system and how you get around and navigate through Windows. So I personally think that they would make a mistake. And um, if they want to replace the uh, start menu button with Copilot, I think that's something they should do um, over the next couple of years. Slowly phase it in and then phase the uh, start button out. Because I think in, an, in the next couple of years, AI, AI would have advanced so much that maybe possibly we wouldn't need the start and the start menu button. Uh, in Windows, but nonetheless, as at this stage, this is all speculation, and that's according to that conversation between Microsoft CEO and Qualcomm CEO at the recent Qualcomm event, and because we like to keep you posted on the channel, just wanted to put it out there, and let me know what you think in the comments. I'm always interested to see constructive comments, and um, let me know down below if you have any thoughts on the matter. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.